for one month from August until September. Oleg and I hit the road. We took my small 2014 Hyundai accent. 10,000 miles later, 22 states. We had had ourselves a great ass road trip. Seen all the sights that we needed to see. Things to just make you feel that the world is beautiful. But this isn't a video about that. This is a video about a particular niche of destinations that we hit along the way. It's something that I think you might love. So without further ado, let's check out the... To kick off this whole bookstore tour, I cannot not include Northshire Bookstore. Situated in Manchester, Vermont, it's kind of a classic country bookstore feel, but what makes it unique is the fact that it's so curated to any sort of reader's desire. You have used books, you have a cafe, and you have an amazing selection of independent and new releases. She loves it. Okay, so this is going to be the only time that I talk about Goodwill, but I have to throw in my favorite Goodwill, Bennington, Vermont. I always get my books here, and I found a copy of One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest, and I didn't buy it, so discretion at its finest. We are going to jump way, way ahead to old South Dakota. Could you guess where I am exactly? If you know, well, you're one of the lucky ones. You have been to Wall Drug. Yes, there is a bookstore inside of the infamous, or famous, depending on the way you look at it, Wall Drug. This was primarily dedicated to westerns and historical pieces about South Dakota, and a surprisingly huge children's selection. Oleg bought half the store. Okay, so not exactly a bookstore, but I had to throw this place in. I was blown away. It was a mercantile used place, and I had this great book selection that made me groove, baby. I'm going upstairs as you start. Okay, back to the scheduled programming. It was tiny, it was easy, it was neat, and I loved it. Now we are in the small town of Afton, Wyoming, and there is dog-eared books. Unfortunately, it was closed. It was the only closed bookstore on this trip, so the book gods were with me, but I had to throw it in. It had some charm, and it was in a small town. Independent bookstore. Let's go, baby. I'm just gonna let these next two bookstores show themselves off. Missoula, Montana, you killed it with the book selection. And these weren't the only two bookstores available. There were so many used places to go. I really enjoyed myself here. Moab, muddy Moab, baby. Just to give you an idea, this was the shot I wanted. And this is what I got. No, this shot aside, great bookstore. It was a great used book section as well with this really rare looking book that I didn't even breathe close to for fear of, I don't know, staining it with my oils. Oleg and I slept in my car this night, so I was disheveled and a little cold, but you know what? I found a bookstore and I was happy. What's up? And they had coffee, so combination of dreams? Absolutely.
arguably one of my best outfits of the trip, but gotta get out, show you that bookstore. This bookstore was great. Used book cube, I'm gonna call it. That was the shape of the building with rooms and rooms, seemingly miles of books to explore. All used, all old, great owner. I love this place. And I'm in a little bird just for myself. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna film you acting like a fool. Let's go. Come on. We have made it to New Mexico, one of my all-time favorite states. Let the record state show. Let the record show. <laughs> Taos, amazing, artsy, creative, fun. And this bookstore, architecturally, was alluring. The design of it was fantastic, and the interior was so calming. Coffee, bookstore, Santa Fe. Do I need to say more? Put it on the bucket list. Need to see. Yeehaw! Baby, Texas, we're here for you. The books. They are alive. Book Barn, Marfa, Texas. It was the only bookstore that was open and I'm happy it was. Great little used book connection. I believe it's in conjunction with the local library. Oleg found a little bit of a word find puzzle book. I'll take this. Do you want it? Very well. I'm just right outside of Marfa. You find yourself in Alpine, Texas, and you're like, what should I do? Oh, well, let me tell you. You could stop at Front Street Books. It's not going to be a waste of your time. Also, I've picked up a southern accent during this. I don't know. Texas will do it to you. Great bookstore. Thank you so much. Who doesn't love a nice house bookstore? This is exactly what this is. Drive by and you'll miss it if you don't know what you're looking for. Amazing new contemporary literature with certain rooms designated to employees' favorite picks. But what I love most about this was a used book house in the back. That's so cool. Oh, find me living there. That's amazing. Oh, adorable. And we gotta throw one in for the history lovers and what better place in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This was a bookstore just with history books. And if that is your thing, it's worth checking out. Wyndham, New York. Upstate. Seems like we're back, but there might be some more curveballs coming your way. Wyndham is known for its ski resort areas, so this was a great bookstore that had a nice little ski section, something that I really hadn't seen in any other bookstores. Also, um, this book. I got absolutely lost in this bookstore and I hope that you do too. Thank you.
across the street, you have a little bit more of the newer bookstore, a place with a community. Fabulous. Thank you.